Hi everyone, welcome back to my quest to look into cases of unsolved murders and disappearances of women and children in a 200 kilometer radius from the area of Bloomington to Delphi and Delphi to Peru City. I found this horrific case out of Franklin, Indiana. One and a half hours drive or approximately 102 miles from Delphi. Now again, I am not trying to prove that Richard Allen or anyone else is a serial killer or that some of these cases may even be linked. What I am trying to do is to show you how many missing or murdered women there are in a relatively small demographic area. I mean, it's an area of a couple of large-ish cities and towns. Indianapolis has a population of about 890,000 people. Peru City, approximately 11,000. Franklin, approximately 25,000. And so on, Bloomington, about 80,000. But the other towns in that circle, of which I will eventually show you a map, the towns are tiny. Mexico, Indiana, only 1,200 people. Delphi, 3,000, and so on and so on. Anyway, today's case is a horrific unsolved murder out of Franklin, Indiana. It was July 2006 when Sean Dickers returned home to find his 26-year-old wife, China, and his 10-year-old son, Blake, brutally murdered. Both had been stabbed repeatedly, and little Blake was also beaten and smothered. To date, no one has been arrested for the murders. China Dickers became Blake's stepmother, when his father married her, Sean Dickers and his ex-wife, Blake's mother, had a shared custody agreement where Blake would switch staying at each other's houses. The agreement was rather simple and the family dynamic, by all accounts, a healthy one. And everyone seemed to get along, including China and Christine. On July the 24th, Blake had just spent the weekend with Sean and China, and the plan was for him to go back to his mother that evening when she got off work. There was even a call between Blake and his mom, Christina, while she was still at work, and they talked about going to see a movie that night. China also spoke to Christina and asked if Blake could stay a little longer so he could have lunch with his father, and Christina agreed. And around 12.45, Sean returned home and had lunch with the both of them. At 1.45, he was back at work. The arrangement was for China to take Blake to Christina's mother after lunch, but she did not arrive as planned. Christina said that when she arrived at her mother's home and found that Blake was not dropped off, she was actually annoyed and got back into her car and drove to Sean and China's home, where she was met by loads of police vehicles and crime scene tape. According to Sean, he arrived home at about 5.15pm and found China and Blake's bodies. Initially, Sean Dickers, the husband and father, was the prime suspect especially because of the brutality of the attack, which could be an indicator of the attack being a personal one. However, after extreme questioning and passing a polygraph test, Sean was indeed cleared. Another theory was that China and Black were victims of a home invasion burglary gone wrong. The sheriff did make it known that there were multiple break-ins within half a mile of the Dickers' home in a short period of time, even one on the very day the murders occurred. Most, however, did not agree with the theory, 
because there were no signs of forced entry, whereas the spate of other burglaries at the time had a very specific sign of forced entry. And I can just as well, so many years later, tell you exactly what it was. Whoever committed these burglaries actually cut a T shape into the outer door. The overall belief is, however, still that it may have been a personal attack and some of China's ex-friends and boyfriends had been looked into, but to date there had been no further persons of interest and no one has come forward with any tips despite the 25000 reward, which is indeed still on the table to this very day okay guys and girls this was not a nice one but it's something which even after 17 years still needs attention because whoever committed that horrific act killed a young woman and a little boy is still roaming the streets okay guys and girls so i'll see you with the next case as soon as possible so until then, please take good care of yourselves and each other. Bye.